In this question, we want to determine the real solutions to the system of nonlinear equations. The system we're looking at is x plus y equals 4 and y equals x squared minus 8. When I start problems like this, the first thing I want to do is think about a visual representation of these equations. This is going to give me an idea of how many solutions I might have. So the first equation is a linear equation um, because we have the first power on these variables, and that means the graph is going to be a straight line. The second equation is a quadratic because of the squared on the x and not on the y. And the graph of a quadratic is a parabola. So I want to think about drawing a parabola and a line in the same plane. And this is one way we could draw it, in which there would be two intersection points and the possibility of two solutions. And we could also draw the line so that it just touches in a single point. We call that tangent to the curve. In that case, there's only one intersection point and one solution to that system. And it's also possible to draw the parabola and the line so that they don't touch each other. And that means there are no intersection points and no solutions to the system of equations. So we're looking at the possibility of having two solutions, one solution, or no solution. Now, getting back to our techniques for solving this, we have two methods that we typically use, and that is substitution and elimination. With the substitution method, the first step is to isolate one of the variables or solve for one of the variables. In the system that we're given, y is solved for, and so the first step of the substitution method is done for us. With the elimination method, we want to line up all of our like terms, having the x's lined up, the y's lined up, most importantly, the equal sign, and then also our constants lined up. Eventually, you'll add the equations together, and that's why you want all those like terms lined up. And you can see with this system that the way that it was given to us doesn't have the like terms lined up. So when I'm thinking about my choices of which method I want to use, because some of the work is already done for me, I would choose to go with the substitution method, although there's nothing wrong with going the route of using the elimination method. So I'm going to solve this with substitution. So the first step was already done for us. The equation is solved for y. And I want to substitute that into the other equation for y. And that's because this equals y. So when I make that substitution, I'll have x plus x squared minus 8 equals 4. This gives me a quadratic equation. Let me rearrange the terms. That's x squared plus x minus 8 equals 4. I'll move all those terms to the same side and solve this quadratic by factoring. So I'm factoring the expression x squared plus x minus 12 x times x is x squared, and I need to find two numbers that multiply to be negative 12 and add to be positive 1. I'm going to use 4 and 3 with a plus on the 4 and a minus on the 3. And then I'll use the zero product property and set each one of these factors equal to zero. That gives me solutions of x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 3. Now those are solutions to the equation that we have here 
not solutions to the overall system. Solutions to the system should be ordered pairs. So we have the x-coordinate of one solution and the x-coordinate of another solution. We still need to find the y-coordinate. So I'm going to use this equation here, which has y solved for y equals x squared minus 8. And with an x value of negative 4, I'm using this x value here. I can see that y would equal negative 4 squared minus 8. That's 16 minus 8, which is 8. So now I have one of my solutions, which is negative 4, 8. Let's find the other one. So now we'll use x equals 3. For x equals 3, y equals 3 squared minus 8 which is 9 minus 8, and that's 1. So the other solution would be 3, 1. So these are the solutions to my system of nonlinear equations. You can also check by substituting these ordered pairs into the original system. So let me clean this up. So let's check the ordered pair, negative 4, negative 8. I don't know why I wrote negative there. That should be positive 8. Sorry about that. So that's a positive 8. So in the first equation, x plus y equals 4, negative 4 plus 8 equals 4, and I get 4 equals 4, and that's a true statement. In the second equation, we have y equals x squared minus 8. That's 8 minus, excuse me, 8 equals negative 4 squared minus 8. 16 minus 8 is 8, so that's another true statement. So that verifies that that ordered pair, negative 4, 8, is a solution to the system because it makes all of the equations in the system true. Now we can check the other ordered pair, 3, 1. For the first equation, x plus y equals 4. 3 plus 1 equals 4, and that's a true statement. For the second equation, y equals x squared minus 8, we would have 1 equals 3 squared minus 8. 1 equals 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 is 1, and that's another true statement. So we verified that both of these ordered pairs are solutions to the system of nonlinear equations. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.